everybody, Crystal Gamer here with the Happy Piglet. That's what I'm calling my new little diner. So this is a little diner that I built in Strangerville and like everyone's on a diner building spree lately. I have noticed on Twitter, there's a lot of diners being built. A diner is something I have wanted to do for quite a while though. And Strangerville for some reason does seem to lend itself very well to diners, which is why I think everyone's kind of doing diners right now. I don't know, but I've wanted to do one for a while and yeah, I, I just decided to go for it. And so this is, it's not a CC free build. I'm actually not even planning on putting it up on the gallery. If someone wants it specifically, let me know and I will put it up on the gallery, but I, I'm not planning to just because I did this specifically, lots of CC. I got to use some stuff that I've been kind of dying to use, namely the outside wall covering that's on this, that pink outside wall covering, some of the inside wall covering, the, the inside flooring, all of that is really awesome CC that when I downloaded it, I, I kind of looked at it and I said, I don't know what on earth I'm going to use this stuff for, but it's just really cool looking and I'm going to download it and I will find a use someday. And so this ended up being the use for a lot of that stuff. And it's got it's got so much CC in it that yeah I decided that I'm not going to download it and say uh, I'm I mean I'm not going to put it up on the gallery unless someone specifically asks for it and as far as when you're looking at this CC creators one of the big ones is Brazen Lotus who I highly recommend by the way she does a lot of liberating of objects that are in the game so. Like, you know, we have clusters of objects and things like that, and the cars, uh, there's just a bunch of stuff. She, she liberates a lot of the objects that are actually in the game and makes them utilizable for us. And someday, fingers crossed, I hope to learn how to do that myself. But for right now, I rely on people like her and she is definitely very awesome for stuff like that. Uh, there's also, uh, one that I think is called Shino that I used a lot of. And I think that those were, were my couple of biggest ones on the CC. If anyone's interested in looking at this and I, I'll put like the, the ones, at least the main ones that I know of, there are some odds and end pieces here and there that I sometimes CC creators don't, don't put who they are in their package files. And I kind of wish they they did because I literally have somewhere, oh, I don't know, I'm going to guess two to 3,000 pieces of CC between cast and build CC in my game right now. And yeah, there's really that much. And so unless someone puts their name or at the very least, like I put KG on mine, like you've got to put something on your package files because otherwise I just don't know. So you've got to identify, but yeah, I'll try and put down um, the ones that do identify who they are. I'll, I'll try and put those down in the comments in case anyone is interested in any of the stuff they see in this build. But yeah, I just wanted to create a cute little diner. This is a place that my husband and I would absolutely stop at. Like if we saw this on the road somewhere, like we would so stop here. And I had to, of course, create an outdoor eating area because he and I both love the outside. We love to eat outdoors. We love outdoor spaces. And we actually make our dining decisions oftentimes for a very large part of the year. We make our dining decisions based on who has outdoor seating and whether or not we can bring the dog because we like to take the dog with us almost everywhere. So if we can bring the dog and your place has outdoor seating, chances are we're going to patronize you. So, <laughs> or we're going to be patrons of yours. We're not, we're not going to be patronizing towards you, but y'all know what I mean. But yeah, so anyway, this is, it's a bit of a short video. I cut out a lot of the interior furnishing because I, I figure people want to see the actual build portion a little bit more than the interior furnishing. And I did include a lot of screenshots at the end for for those that want to see kind of what the interior ended up looking like so i i kind of love the little place though and i named it the happy piglet because if you noticed on the the cinematics in the beginning i i put the little pig figurine that we have the little pink pig figurine i put him up at the top of the the little diner so he looks all cute and i like him a lot and if you notice the beginning cinematics too, it's, it's very well lit, lit at night too, which is another reason that if my husband and I saw this place, we, we would stop. I, I like to light the heck out of my commercial builds for evenings so that they, they are eye catching, you know, so. Yeah, this one was, was kind of a fun one. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm happy that I finally got to do a little diner. 
and I'm sure this probably won't be my last diner either. I'm sure I'll probably end up doing more. But yeah, this one was kind of fun. Trying to think what else I might be able to tell builders as far as like important stuff from a build perspective. Uh, let me think. Let me think. I don't think that there's anything super huge except maybe like recommending people like Brazen Lotus for lots of stuff because it, it's just... I honestly don't know why I, I sort of question the game creators sometimes because like they come out with Strangerville and it's cool and it's awesome and everything, but it takes people like there's Brazen Lotus and there's a couple of others that do liberate objects that are in the game. And I literally see them come out with all of the objects liberated within, I don't know, it's, it feels like seconds. It's like a day or two of the game being released, but it feels like seconds to me. And I'm kind of like, if they could come out with all of these objects within a day or two of the game being released, why the heck don't the game creators just give us? It's like, why don't, why doesn't EA give us these objects? Because a lot of us, like I, if I had a, a, a preference, I'd rather not do CC so you guys can download freely. Anyone that wants to can download freely and I can build up my gallery stuff. And so I'd, I'd prefer not to do CC at the same time. It opens up so much like these little bikes and bike racks and stuff like that. We have no bikes in the game. We have no bike racks. Like that's something that we should have. Like, I don't know. Anyway, that's just, just me moaning. I love the game. Yay. Don't think I don't love the game because I, I actually I really do. And I, I we do have a lot of capabilities, so I probably shouldn't complain so much. But, you know, we always want more. At least I do from a builder perspective. Always want more. There is never enough. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that's like that. You always want more stuff. Love that outside back back eating area. So love that. I, I want to eat back there so badly. But... <laughs> Oh, for game purposes, I should also tell you guys, I listed this as a generic build. So if anyone does want it, you have to add a waiter station and a hostess station. They didn't really work in the design. Now, if it's in your game, you can use the restroom. You can hire someone for the, the cooking station and all of that and, and still use it as a diner, but not as a quote unquote restaurant. Uh, it just didn't fit in the design. And from a personal perspective, I don't much like using actual restaurants in the game because it, it takes like six hours for sims to get food at restaurants there's still a lot they have to uh they have to work on in the restaurant realm but i have talked my way to the end of the video so if you have hung with me this whole time thank you so much i appreciate it if you enjoyed this please don't forget to hit the like button comment share subscribe all that good stuff that helps us youtubers out a ton and i appreciate you spending the time with me today and i hope to see you all back again next time bye now